What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to share a quick tip on how you can add some simple camera shake to your 3D camera inside of Blender. This technique is fairly simple and a lot of you have probably used it before if you use camera shake, but for those of you who haven't, this can really drive a little bit more realism or grittiness or simply just an artistic touch, depending on the style of scene you're going for. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. Recently, I've been working on this meteor strike composite here where these meteors come out of the sky and they're gonna hit the ground and create a kind of a cool explosion and it's really a work in progress but I wanted to add a little bit more of a chaotic look to the camera so I thought I'd use this scene and the camera shake that I added to the scene as a bit of an example for what you can do with this shot so this is just a work in progress composite here but I'll go ahead and go to the layout mode here and just show you through the camera and I'm also just going to turn off our smoke meteor domain here for a second just so we can play everything back a little bit faster so these are our meteors here and our camera uh, this background just so you guys have a general idea here this background here is just a sky and this is just our ground plane and then here are our meteors and our meteors have some sparks flying off them and you can see they kind of go into the ground and they're going to create an explosion we've created a explosion system through our chaos add-on which we will bake out soon and make a tutorial on this whole process but anyways without further ado this is kind of the shot we have with the camera shake and I've just animated our camera following these meteors but you can see that there's camera shake before and after the actual keyframes which is going to add a little bit of realism and I'm still dialing in the exact camera shake but um, this is just the general concept here just adding a little bit of that handheld look and you can also make the camera shake occur only on certain frames. So for example, if we wanted to make the impact of the meteor in this shot be a little bit more turbulent, you can definitely increase the camera shake during that portion. So lots of different things you can do with this here. I'm just going to show you the basic setup and how to do it in a new scene. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll just go ahead and open up a new scene here. I'll just make a short animation here with our camera and then we will add some camera shake to it. So I'll just take our camera Point it at our cube. I'll go to frame one. I'll add a keyframe for location, rotation, and scale. You need to make sure that you've added a keyframe for the property that you want to add your camera shake to. So in this case, most of the time for a little bit of a handheld look, I'll add some noise to the rotation. So this one should be fine, or you could also just do rotation. But since we're going to be animating the location as well, we'll do this one right here. So add a keyframe there. And then I'll just go maybe, you know, I'll go to frame 70 and move our camera over this way just kind of create a very simple rudimentary animation here like so all right something like that okay add a location rotation scale keyframe again make sure we get what we want here so you know we have our cameras just going side by side here and i might just in the middle just pull this back a bit all right, so you know, super simple animation here, but let's add some camera shake to it to give it a little bit of life. So to do that, all you have to do is make sure your camera is selected and that you've added the keyframes that you want. If you don't want to animate your camera, just make sure to add a keyframe at a singular position. And then I'll just go to our graph editor while our camera is selected. And as you can see here, this is all of our keyframed data. And we want to go to our object transform properties for our camera. And we want to add some noise on the rotation properties of our camera. Camera. And you can also add noise to the location and scale, but I found that for a handheld look, the most important thing is these three rotation factors. So I'll go ahead and click on the X Euler rotation here. And just so you guys know what property that is, you can just go up here to the X Euler rotation right here. And you can see we're going to be adding some noise to this value that animates the camera up and down. So go ahead and go back to our graph editor. And to add some noise, it's very simple. We're just gonna go to key, and then we're going to go to add F curve modifier, and then click on noise. And we gotta find our actual value here. Um, this is where our X Euler rotation graph is. These are some other properties, but make sure you find your actual property here that you've added your noise to. And as you can see here, now we have a ton of noise on our camera for its X Euler rotation. This is probably way too much. As you can see, if we go back to 3D viewport, we're getting some crazy amount of noise on our rotation value, which is not what we want. So the good news though, is that we can change this as well. So just go over here to the right tab and under modifiers, you can adjust all of the different noise settings. So the main thing we'll want to change in this case is our scale, which is going to change kind of the frequency in which our camera shake occurs. So if I just increase this, for example, you can see that our shakes are going to be less frequent. 
you know, it's just gonna occur over a longer period of time. So I might try something like 60. And you can also change the phase of this, which is just gonna kind of add some randomness to it. And you can change the offset, which will just change where our noise is on the timeline. And then finally, you can change the strength here, which is just how much it's actually going to rotate the camera up and down. So I think one might be a little bit too much for the strength, but let's go back here to our 3D viewport. And I can already tell you that it is. You can see that it's way too much noise here, but it is doing kind of what we want it to. I think our scale is doing well. The frequency of our shake is pretty good, but uh, we'll go back here and adjust it once more. So we want to bring down the strength to maybe 0.3. I think that should be pretty good. Let's try it out again here. Now, yeah, I think that's a little bit nicer here. Now what we can do, obviously we don't want the camera shake to only occur on the X rotation axis. We want to add it all around. So what we want to do, if you like the uh, general movement of your camera and the frequency of those shakes, if you like how much it's moving up and down and the general feel of it, is you'll just go back to our graph editor. And now what we can do here is we can just copy this exact noise modifier right here, click on that, and we can just paste it on the Y Euler rotation as well. So go ahead and paste it here. And now we have that noise on this modifier as well. And we'll go here to the Z Euler rotation as well and paste it there. And you can see that we have three different modifiers here. So you can see that we can, of course, adjust each of these by themselves as well. But I'm going to just use that first X Euler rotation as a reference. And let's just see what we're looking like now that we've added all three of them. So, you know, um, not perfect. But um, it's a nice look. We could maybe just dial back the strength a little bit of each of them. So I'll just do that. Maybe bring it down to 0.2 on each of these. And of course, this is entirely up to you depending on the look you're going for. You can also restrict the frame range in which this noise is added to your camera. So for example, in the case of that meteor, we might wanna restrict some really high frequency noise to when the meteor hits. So we could just select that and then you can change the start and end frame of your noise. So you can see down here, that actually can change where the noise is being applied. So if you wanna add very specific camera shake along a specific instant in your timeline, you can use this effect as well. But I'm going to deselect that for now. We just wanna add some handheld camera movement to the entire uh, scene. So let's go back to 3D viewport here and let's see what it looks like. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty nice here. Of course, there's a lot of tweaking you can do to get a very specific result. A cool thing you could actually do during the actual camera movement to add an even more handheld look is just animate your focal length. So you can see maybe we have it at 25 at the start and then we zoom, you know, throughout the scene and uh, give it a little bit of a, almost like a documentary or uh, found footage type feel. Um, but anyways, you can definitely animate other things as well, and you can add some noise to the focal length as well. But uh, anyways, guys, that is how you can add some very simple and effective camera shake to add a little bit of a stylistic or a little bit more realism to your renders. I hope you enjoyed this short quick tip. Lots more visual effects concepts and tutorials coming soon to our channel, so subscribe if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.